Hey everybody, this is Transrow itself coming to you with another review. Today I have the, long, the long-awaited Captain Rex figure from the new Clone Wars movie. Now this figure is surprisingly good. I didn't think it would be. I like clones, and I didn't know that this one would be as good as I thought. First off, it's the same articulation as... Sorry, someone just signed on to AIM. I hate when everybody does that. Um, but you see he's a classic clone trooper with a new style. Um, he has a whole bunch of fe features, like a whole bunch. First off, his, he has a removable helmet revealing his face, which people say that um, that this isn't a clone. This is. They, they have this new thing where some clones take it upon themselves to make themselves more personal. So he shaved his head and dyed, dyed the rest of his hair, bleached it, and turned it white. And that's why every, everybody just thinks he's just an, a person, but he's actually a real clone. Okay, and the helmet sticks on there pretty good. It's a soft rubber, so it's good for the case. Um, he has a removable shoulder piece. Just got to remove the head. And the shoulder piece comes off, which is pretty cool. Not really needed, but they could have glued it on. That would have been a lot better. But what are you going to do? Articulation-wise, he his hands can go 360 degrees, then at the elbow, and the wrist can go 360 degrees, and also the wrist can go 360 degrees. I mean, the elbow can go 360 degrees. God, elbow can go. I mean, the head can go 360 degrees. Both heads can go 360 degrees with this and off. Heads on a ball joint, so you do a lot of wacky poses with the head. Uh, waist can go 360 degrees, and legs can go in and out, bend at the knee, go 360 degrees at the knee, and only one of my legs bends back all the way and pivots, but both of them go 360 degrees. So that's good. Now as I said, this dude comes with a whole bunch of features. First off, whenever he comes with the packaging, he has two, he has one gun in his holster, as you see here, and one gun in the package. So he comes with two guns with two gun holders. So that is pretty amazing that they would do that. So they sit, fit in there pretty good. If you shake it, they won't come out. So they're in there good. And they both fit in both hands, so that's good. Okay, let me just take these out, show you the other feature. He also comes with this cool rifle blaster which is different from the clone blaster, so they didn't give him the same blaster. And the cool gimmick with this comes with a rocket launcher, and you take this gun, stick it in here, like so, stick it right there, and it fits like that, and you get a missile. Now it came with two missiles. It came with the string missile, which you can stick in there, which I cut off because I don't really don't want to have this big old string missile whenever I shoot it off, so I thought that was just a waste. So, I really didn't like that. So, I just cut it off. So, if you want to reattach it, I, you could just, it's really easy to reattach it. So, don't worry if you're going to cut it off. Okay, so there it is. And same way as the Obi-Wan Kenobi one, just push on the back and it'll shoot out. That's pretty good. Now, color scheme for this figure is blue and white. But this one is actually very detailed. More detailed than the Stormtrooper one. It um has very good head sculpt. See right there, he has those two little markings on there, have all the dirt and battle marks. Just amazing figure. Um, paint rust, paint like missing on the thing, that's just really cool. So, that's about it for this review. The Captain X figure is must have for any um, Star Wars collector. It's really good. You should get it. I recommend you get it. You have to get it. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.